Good morning. It is such a great day to be an Eagle and to have the opportunity to celebrate all of these exceptional graduates. I want to personally welcome everyone to Florida Gulf Coast University. Now, all are in their places and we are ready to begin this commemorative day. Today signifies one of the greatest occasions and accomplishments in the lifetime of our FTCU graduates, their families and friends. With such pride and happiness radiating through the arena in celebration of these stunning accomplishments, we have come to expect the moment your graduate receives his or her diploma, you will be moved to a triumphant applause or some other form of jubilant expression. Although we appreciate your outward displays of excitement and your enthusiastic support, we kindly ask that you respect the following graduate by restoring quiet by the time the next candidate's name is to be called. In addition, we ask that you respect the dignity of the commencement ceremony by remaining civil and refraining from the use of any external forms of noisemakers, such as air horns, which should have been confiscated, whistles, cow horns, confetti cannons. The use of such devices is just plain rude and becomes offensive, leading to a diminished experience for those seated in proximity to you. These exercises for the 2016 fall semester, the 41st commencement ceremony at Florida Gulf Coast University are hereby called to order. Good morning. You may be seated. On behalf of Florida Gulf Coast University, I welcome you to the university's 41st commencement ceremony. At this time, will you please rise and remain standing, <laughs> arise again, and remain standing for the invocation provided by Reverend Casey F. Jones. And please remain standing afterwards to join in the singing of our national anthem led by our student vocalists from the Bauer School of Music and the Arts, Ms. Christy Farah and the Suncoast Brass Quintet. Good morning. Our words of inspiration this morning are taken from the speeches of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Pope Clement XI, and the wisdom literature of sacred scripture. Eternal God, out of whose mind came this great cosmic universe, we bless you. We give you praise and thanksgiving for this class of 2016. Help us all to seek that which is high, noble, and good. Help us to work with renewed vigor for a warless world, a better distribution of wealth, and a brother sisterhood that transcends race or color. We ask your blessing on these women and men as they go forth to make an impact on this world, beginning with their immediate communities, to be the change they want to see in the world. When they are afraid, give them courage. When afflicted, give them patience. When dejected, afford them hope. And when alone, assure them of the support of loved ones. Help them to conquer anger with gentleness, greed by generosity, and apathy by fervor. Help them to forget themselves and reach out towards others. Make them prudent in planning, courageous in taking risks, Make them patient in suffering, unassuming in prosperity. Keep them attentive at service, diligent at work and firm in good intentions. Let conscience be clear, conduct without fault, speech blameless, and life well-ordered. Teach them and all of us daily to seek wisdom. For your word tells us wisdom is radiant and unfading, and she is easily discerned by those who love her, and she is found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known to those who desire her. He who rises early to seek her will have no difficulty. 
for you will find her sitting at his gates. To fix one thought on her is perfect understanding, and he who is vigilant on her account will soon be free from care, because she goes about seeking those worthy of her, and she graciously appears to them in their paths and meets them in every thought. Amen. Christy. And really, this time, please be seated. <laughs> this ceremony is patterned after a ritual which has been repeated through centuries of higher education throughout the world. The robes we wear and the symbols of the ceremony found their origin in the Middle Ages. The mace, the mace is a symbol of the authority of the university but the spirit of commencement is modern, always new, and always focused on the future. At this time, let me introduce the university trustees and other members of the platform party. As I call your name, please rise and remain standing, and please hold your applause until all have been introduced. University trustee and chair of the FGCU Board of Trustees, Dudley Goodlett. University trustee, Robbie Repsdorf. University trustee, Russell Pretty, student speaker, university trustee, and student government president, Thildens El Elnius, dean of the Luckett College of Business, Dr. Robert Beatty, dean of the College of Education, Dr. Insuk Hayoun, dean of the College of Health Professionals and Social Work, Dr. Mitchell Cordova, dean of undergraduate studies, Dr. Don Kirby, dean of library services, Dr. Kathleen Miller, Chair of the Alumni Association Board of Directors, Harry Casimir, Director of Alumni Relations, Kimberly Wallace, Invocation Speaker, Reverend Casey F. Jones, Academic Advisor and University Reader, Rebecca Kroger, Director of Academic Advising and University Reader, Allison Bacigalopi, Associate Vice President for Research, and Dean of Graduate Stu Studies, Dr. Chichung Yi. Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. J. Michael Rollo. Vice President for University Advancement and the Executive Director of the FGCU Foundation and our keynote speaker this morning, Christopher J. Semino. Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Ronald Toe. University Marshal, 
faculty senate president and FGCU BOT board of trustees member, Dr. Sean Felton. Sean is the vice chair of the FGCU board of trustees. Sitting in the first row before me are our college marshals. As I call your name, will you please stand to be recognized and remain standing, and uh, once again, please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Rebecca Donlan, Library Services. Dr. Susan Cooper, College of Education. Brendan Bevins, College of Health Professions and Social Work. Dr. Elizabeth Johnson, Luckert College of Business. Please join me in recognizing our marshals. It's always a pleasure to recognize our retired FGCU president, the first president of this institution, and his wife, the first first lady of this institution, Dr. Roy McTarnigan and Beverly. Thank you for being here on this occasion when we celebrate the accomplishments of many students. You may be seated. I would also like to thank the many members of the university's foundation board and friends of the university here with us today. Because there are so many of you, I won't be able to introduce each of you, but I welcome you and ask that you raise your hand so we may recognize you. Thank you. Now I would like to introduce the university's provost and vice president for academic affairs, Dr. Ronald Toll. It is a great honor for me to serve this institution as its chief academic officer and to be part of this special ceremony this morning. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce the President of the Faculty Senate, Vice Chair of the FGCU Board of Trustees and University Marshal, Dr. Sean Felton. Thank you, Dr. Toll. Welcome again, everyone, to the 41st commencement ceremony at Florida Gulf Coast University. If you are following along with your program, I'm the first of four speeches you will hear today. The program planners have given me three minutes to talk and reminded me of this many times. Even Trustee Elnius said I'm a little long-winded, so thanks, T. But when has an academic ever talked just for three minutes? I mean, it takes us that long just to tell everyone about ourselves. But I will try to stay somewhat within the allotted time because I know you have family to see, fake news on Facebook to read, tweets to get out, online pop-ups to browse, especially the new, newest uh, Lula Row fashions, and Snapchats to tend to from the soon-to-occur selfie that you'll take with President Bradshaw. But in all seriousness, fellow platform party members, distinguished guests, outstanding faculty, parents, families, and most especially you, our Florida Gulf Coast University graduates, I bring you greetings and congratulations on completing your degree programs on behalf of all my incredible colleagues the FGCU faculty. It was and is a privilege for my colleagues and I to do what we do each day in preparing each of you for your career. Your ever elusive future is now yours and you're just getting started. Your experiences while attending FGCU are unprecedented and have been filled and enriched by the dedicated, brilliant faculty members, several who are with us today, and you'll have the opportunity to interact with once you receive your diplomas. These events today are moments that epitomize what we do each day. I've had the privilege of representing our faculty by speaking at these proceedings on multiple occasions. I've tried to work in many themes. Some may have worked, some don't, but lucky for you, you're about to witness my next attempt. Remember, I'm only scheduled for three minutes, so this too will pass. Each time that I begin to write a speech, it's important to try and find something that will capture what this day entails for you your families, and the faculty I represent. So here it goes. I was in Atlanta last week with my five-year-old son for the SEC championship. After the great game, we grabbed an Uber back to the hotel. Our driver that evening was an extremely special lady. She was a single mother of seven, 
happy to have found a new beginning in Atlanta. She radiated with pride and indicated to my son and I how she moved here six months ago from Detroit and after she saw her, after she saw her last child graduate from college. You could see the pride in this lady knowing the sacrifices she made to ensure each of her children would have a promising future. All were successfully employed enjoying the benefits of a college degree. This is what this day represents. Each of you has a story, and today marks another chapter in your great story. Whether you're receiving your baccalaureate degrees, masters, or doctorate, you are all among an elite group of individuals now. Also, you might not realize it because the wounds of final projects and exams have yet not healed, but what is occurring today for you provides each of you with several advantages to a better life. Your degree is unquantifiable. You are receiving a passport that will never expire and provides you with countless opportunities that still do not exist for many. Our Uber driver saw all these opportunities for her children and she made sure that nothing was going to stop that. Also, by completing your degrees, you will be a better member of society by increasing your civic responsibility by voting in elections and volunteering in community agencies. You will be more open to diversity issues and have a healthier life. All that your degree represents is extremely important, but I want to leave you with a few intangibles that I live by each day. Success requires hard work, which is exemplified by all of you completing your degrees. I think the legendary coach Vince Lombardi said it best when he posited, you don't do things right once in a while, you do them right all the time. Be right in what you do each day. It will make a difference, and you'll never need to question what you did if it was in the best interest of the cause you were serving. Just do what's right. This will also allow you to look yourself in the mirror daily, knowing you did your best and you did, not, you did what was right without compromise. Also, continue to be a lifelong learner. Socrates indicated, education is the kindling of a flame, not the filling of a vessel. So leave here today completely educated in your discipline and ready for the start of your career. But continue to add opportunities for learning. Attain an advanced degree, study literature, learn a new hobby, and don't forget to travel. So much can be learned, so never stop. Before Sun Coast Brass starts to play the song too long or I cause you to miss your uh, noon brunch reservations, let me conclude this morning with one final piece of advice. Never underestimate the small acts of kindness. Say hello to a colleague as you arrive to work in the morning or pay a compliment when one least expects it. These small acts of kindness make everyone feel better and demonstrate your value of others. Once again, my colleagues, our FGCU Falcon and I, congratulate you. We wish you well in all of your endeavors, and we are assured that all of you will be excellent representatives of our FGCU family. You have made us proud, and we anticipate all of your future successes. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Felton. It is now my pleasure to introduce our summer 2016 student speakers and president of the student government and university trustee, Mr. Thieldens Elnius. Mr. Elnius is a senior majoring in computer information systems. T was born in Laganov, Haiti, and grew up in central Florida. He attended Auburndale High School prior to his acceptance into FGCU. T's campus involvement extends well beyond the Student Government Association. He has served on the executive board for several student organizations, including the Haitian Student Organization, the Caribbean Student Organization, and Everglades Area Council. In addition, T has been a mentor in various capacities for the Office of Multicultural and Leadership Development. Within the community, he also serves as a member of the new generation board of Hope for Haiti Incorporated. He is a determined and dedicated student that values the importance of building strong and sustained relationships. Mr. Elnius is performing admirably in his second term as student body president and as a university trustee. It is my pleasure to introduce for the winner graduation, Mr. Thieldens Elnius. Good morning. Graduates, today represents 
your venture to new heights, and we'll start your new beginnings. You remember today as one of the greatest milestones of your life. Education to me is one of life's greatest investments. At this moment, that investment you've made in your future comes full circle for you all. Over the years, you've invested your time, money, thoughts, and probably a lot of tears to get to this exact moment. Today is truly your day. Life is a learning experience. During your short time on campus, uh, you've learned a great deal, and your educational path will not end as this chapter of your life closes. Individually, all of you have gained the skills to address some of the problems our society faces, which may include but is not limited to the issues, such as the divide of communities due to the dis discrimination, the constant advancement uh, with health and medicine, and promoting sustainability, which I'm sure you all have learned here at FGCU. Graduates, now it's your turn to spread your wings and soar along your fellow eagles. I ask you to reflect on what FGCU has given you and identify the relationships you've made. Take some time to thank those who mean, it, who mean the most to you, your mentors, professors, classmates, and most definitely your family members that have pushed you and helped mold you into who you are today. In the words of Maya Angelou, you can only, be, you can only tr become truly accomplished at something you love. Don't make money your goal. Instead, pursue the things you love doing and do them so well that people can't take their eyes off you. Congratulations, class of 2016. Go Eagles. Thanks, T. I noticed that you're wearing the uh, 2016 gold tassel, which symbolizes your commitment to Florida Gulf Coast University's foundation and help support, and help support the university's greatest needs. Graduates, for those of you who are also wearing a gold tassel, please know that you just made your first step in your ph philanthropic journey. Thank you. Thank you for your support. It is now my pleasure to introduce our commencement speaker, Mr. Christopher J. Semino. Excuse me. <clears throat> Mr. Semino is Vice President for University Advancement at Florida Gulf Coast University and Executive Director of the FGCU Foundation. Mr. Semino oversees all aspects of advancement, including fundraising, alumni relations, special events, donor relations, and stewardship, endowment management, and university marketing and communications. Chris was previously with Tufts University, where he served as Senior Director of University Advancement and Campaign Manager for the Tufts' successful $1.2 billion cam fundraising campaign that concluded in 2011. His previous higher education experience includes stints as Associate Vice President for Strategic Planning at Case Western Reserve University, as Director at both at Columbia University in both the Earth Institute and Student Services, and business manager at Princeton University. Mr. Simino also has experience in the private sector, including in the areas of strategic management, finance, and administration. Please welcome Vice President Chris Simino. Good morning. President Bradshaw, Chair Goodlett, parents, friends, relatives, faculty, staff, alumni, trustees, distinguished guests, and most especially, the graduates of the Florida Gulf Coast University Class of 2016. Congratulations. I am Honored and privileged to provide some remarks today as you transition from one phase of life to another. In contemplating my remarks, I decided to turn to three sources for my research. The internet, books, and the movies. When I began my research, I used your favorite professor, Google. I typed in commencement speech and I received 
three million hits. And then I typed in great commencement speeches, and I received 200,000 hits. So I'd like to read you the best lines from all 200,000 hits. <laughs> now, obviously, that won't work. That's, that's like trying to find a parking spot in Garage 4 at 10 o'clock in the morning. That's just, just impossible. So I turned to my favorite book, the good book, the Bible. My favorite quote is from Luke chapter 12, verse 48. From everyone who has been given much, much will be demanded. And from the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. I thought, yes, that's what I want to say. But it seems a little proper, a little old English, too complex, too rigid, and, and although it's Sunday morning, I don't want to preach from the Bible. So I turned to my third inspiration, the movies. And while I was tempted to take a few lines from Animal House, <laughs> instead I ended up with that 2002 cinematic masterpiece starring Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man. It's a classic, I know. The definitive line of this film is from Uncle Ben to young Peter Parker, when he says, with great power comes great responsibility. With great power comes great responsibility. And to me, commencement is the best time to really think about and to embrace this concept. Well, that and any time you're bitten by a radioactive spider. You see, graduates, with the diploma you're earning today, you have been granted great power. But what is this power? You have the power to start businesses. You have the power to influence people and to change minds. You have the power to solve problems and the power to influence elections. You have the power to build institutions, to join boards, to start families, to buy the, buy the right products or invest in the right companies. You have the power to choose your own career, to chart your own futures. You have the power to build your own dreams. You also have a power button on your phones. Turn them off every once in a while and enjoy the moment. This FGCU education has empowered you. And as a faculty and staff here, we look forward to embracing and building this power for good. But with great power comes great responsibility. So your work is only beginning. As global citizens, you need to be responsible for yourself and also responsible for one another. Take care of each other. Support people rather than tear them down. Embrace them rather than reject them. You need to, sur you need to be responsible for your environment for the people with whom you surround yourself with, the communities in which you live, and the planet which desperately needs your best ideas to remain sustainable. You need to be responsible for continuing to grow and learn, for investing in and supporting your alma mater, by joining the Alumni Association, mentoring students, and paying it forward. Your degree will grow in value as you invest in FGCU. You are responsible for taking chances, for starting companies and starting families, for seeking solutions to problems and for not creating new problems. You are responsible for our future because with great power comes great responsibility. And while I might look young, 25 years ago I sat listening to a graduation speech at my alma mater and I had it all figured out, or so I thought. So today I leave you with the top five lessons I wish I knew 25 years ago when I sat in your seats. Number one, if you wait for the perfect time to do something, you'll never do anything. Number two, you are not as smart as you think. You're not as helpless as other people might think. And you can learn from everyone. Number three, Sometimes the hardest part is the anticipation of doing something. Take chances and don't be afraid of failure. Number four, read voraciously and never stop learning. Your education is a lifetime pursuit. 
And number five, and most importantly, who you surround yourself with is the only thing that truly matters. Choose wisely. But today, just enjoy this wonderful moment. Go to Rusty's and have one more beer. <laughs> Go to Moe's or Pita Pit or Bar Louie for just one more meal and make someone else pay for it. <laughs> because today is your day. Today is the day that you commence, you start again. FGCU graduates, congratulations on your wonderful achievements. We look forward to your bright futures and being part of your successes. Good luck, God bless, go Eagles. Thank you, Vice President Simino. It is now my privilege this morning to recognize one of our highly distinct, distinguished faculty members, Dr. Thomas C. Valeski. <laughs> Dr. Valeski began his career in education, serving in a variety of positions, including teacher, high school counselor, elementary principal, and superintendent. As a founding faculty member here at FGCU, Professor Valeski served as a professor and program leader for the Department of Education Leadership at Florida Gulf Coast University. Previously, he served as a professor and program leader for educational leadership at the University of South Florida, Fort Myers, and as professor and then chair of the Department of Education Administration and Supervision at the University of Memphis. Today, Dr. Valeski is recognized as Professor Emeritus based on criteria established by the University Faculty Senate, including demonstrated excellence in teaching, in scholarship, in service, and a record of demonstrated long-time commitment to FGCU's mission. Professor Emeritus Thomas Valeski, will you please step forward? I will just mention that Dr. Valeski was, uh, was instrumental in the establishment of our EDD program here. And Tom, it was a great, great pleasure working with you on that project and many, many others. Degrees will now be conferred. At FGCU, we award a wide variety of advanced degrees that provide postgraduate education in a wide array of disciplines. Indeed, here at FGCU, we offer three programs of study leading to the doctoral degree and over 30 courses of study leading to a master's degree. We are pleased that 12 doctoral degrees and 65 master's degrees are being awarded by FGCU at this morning's commencement. Some of those eligible to receive recognition at today's ceremony have already started their new careers and on our, unfortunately are unable to be with us this morning. Will all doctoral and master's candidates please rise 
for the conferral of your degrees. By the authority vested in me by the Florida Board of Governors and the Florida Gulf Coast University Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the doctorate or master's degree you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Candidates, please turn your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. You may be seated. The College Marshal for Education will now escort the Doctor in Education recipients. Doctoral students are to be accompanied by their research committee chairs to the front of the stage. As is typical with institutions of higher learning, these students will be hooded on the stage. After honoring today's doctoral students, the escorted master's recipients will move to the stage. The university readers, Ms. Rebecca Kroger and Ms. Allison Bacigalupi, will introduce the individual graduates. Putting the following Doctor of Education students will be their committee chair, Dr. Cecil Carter. <laughs> Kathleen Jasper. <laughs> Patrick Keegan. Putting the following Doctor of Education students will be their committee chair, Dr. Tanda Sushi. <laughs> Kelly Henderson. <laughs> Diane Kratt. Putting the following Doctor of Education students will be their committee chair, Dr. Thomas Valeski. Lori Garbo. <laughs> Diane Santa Cruz. And now the master's candidates in the College of Education.
Caitlin Abernathy. Myra Pence. Angela Levins. Mary Beth Geyer. Suzette Rodriguez. Johanna Ryan. Lauren Parton. Jessica Flanders. Franklin Scott Cook. Reed Leonards. Maureen Nassau. And now the Luckert College of Business. Glenn Archer IV. Gina Hermance. Jonathan Luria. Ian Carpenter. Andrew Johnson. John Shelton. Christopher Joseph Kirby. Nicholas Cristiano. Robert McGinnis. Anthony Denunzio. And now the College of Health Professions and Social Work. Jose Ramon Yosas. Ashley Reese, Amy Patricus, Kirsten Schmidt, Danielle Shields, Kelsey Miner, Here at FGCU, we have a tradition of our faculty greeting our newest graduates. The faculty of each college rise and move to a receiving area in the back of the arena as the students from their respective colleges cross the stage. We believe this tradition gives our students one final chance to convene with the faculty who have supported them and nurtured them through the years. Will the new FGCU doctoral and master's candidates please rise? President Bradshaw, platform party, faculty, family, and guests, please join me in congratulating our newest degree recipients. Please be seated. We now come to, to the conferring of the bachelor's degrees. At FGCU, we award a wide variety of bachelor's degrees that provide education in an array of disciplines. Indeed, at FGCU, we offer over 50 courses of study leading to the bachelor's, and we award the file following baccalaureate degrees. 
Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Environmental Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Science, excuse me, Bachelor of Social Work, and Bachelor of Music Education. We are pleased that 442 bachelor's degrees are being conferred by FGCU at this morning's commencement. Some of those eligible to receive recognition at today's ceremony have already started their new careers and unfortunately are unable to be with us this morning. Will all bachelor's candidates please rise for the conferral of your degrees. By the authority vested by the authority vested in me by the Florida Board of Governors and the Florida Gulf Coast University Board of Trustees, I confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree you have earned with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Candidates, please turn your tassels from right to left. Congratulations. You may be seated. The College Marshal for the College of Health Professions and Social Work will now escort the bachelor's recipients to the front of the stage. The university readers, Ms. Rebecca Kroger and Ms. Allison Bacigalupi, will introduce our individual graduates. Wendy Morella. Alexandra Mosheri. Kaylin Lowdy. Nicole Leone. Amber Rushton. Emily Lunder. John Birmingham. Lauren Nemchik. Morel Marquez Jimenez. Lauren Davis. Kayla E. Kircher. Julia Pointer. Bridget Henry. Emily Stewart. Brianna Brink. Taylor Russo, Gina Along, Alyssa Frost, Lindsay Deck, Laura Heston, Margaret Bradfield, Francesca Napoli, Kristen Jutras. Shannon Mulvaney, Amanda Apice, Alexandra Gonzalez, Christian Teleria, 
Luke Lucin. Anika Chowdhury. Edwin Jocelyn. Juliet Brave. Victoria Moretta. Stephanie Gallo. Alexander Santos. Courtney Gromer. Carmela Cicero. Megan Copeland. Rama Jacques Green. Jessica Sauer. Brittany Orlick. Corey Young. Marie Vo. Isabel Verastegui Tapia. Kyle Gary. Sabrina Hoffman. Taylor Shell. Jamie Horn. Rochelle Gallo. Riley Eaton Fox. And now the graduates from the College of Education. Vincent Monzon, Jonathan Cathy, Adam Hatfield, Marissa Patricia McMitchin, Autumn Reber, Courtney Brown, Kenneth Wolf, Lindsay Goffinay. Shannon Bailey, Brianna Ceccarelli, Teresa Novak, Sarah Tello, Abigail Condi, Alexandra Diaz, Kara Card, Christina Berto. Chelsea Gage, Felicia Schilling, Cody Atkinson, Keegan Harvey, Carolina Ortiz, Brittany Reitenberg, Brittany Camp, Elizabeth Paonessa, Jennifer Nargi, Jenna Meredith, Rebecca Darison, Sandabel Santizo, Carmen Rosario, Stephen Pluhar, Jacqueline Rivera, Maxime Alcindor. Erica Chiraldi, <laughs> Veronica Zaragoza, Samantha Koken, Brittany Shine, Brittany Blankenship, Alexandra Vanderluit, Emma Kurtz, Jonathan Coven. Jaliza Schultz, Christina Exler, Jamie Pryor, Megan Carter, Afton Simeone, Alyssa Gundanski, Carly Purdy, George Badillo, Sarah Nicholas, Veronica Bertrand, Juno Charles, 
Blanca Barrios, Jasmine Peacock, Sarah Bornelis, John McLeod, Jacqueline Wheeler, Tiffany Kaufman, Stacy Stewart, Alexis Castro, Kristen Nerodini, Miranda Freites, Christina Delaire, Mary McManaman, and now the Luckert College of Business. Christopher Torres, Joey Silverine, Madison Smedinoff, Madison Alger, Kathleen McDowell, Anne Marie Paterni, Robert Bradley. Sean Feehan, Javier Santana, Connor Murphy, Eric Ely, Michael Stratton, Patrick Davis, I'll wait, Brandon Jablonski. Rain Yoxon, Kimberly Cutler, Christina Fox, Armani Tavares, Ronald Murray, Jordan Murtha Lansford. Alisa Whitehead, Conrad Hahn, Jared Lucero, Brad Rombach, Lori Mays, Brianna Henke, Eva Tudela. Trevor McAleese, Harry Huthner, Jessica Perry, Brianna Marichal, Jamie Julian, Andrew Clower, Jade Rocha, McGregor Monroe, Natasha Savalos, Kara Christensen, Lauren Korzat, Christopher Chin, Roberta Wheat, Jose Zaragoza, Jennifer Noriega, Bianca Williams, Ryan McDade, Garrett Kent, Pablo Cabrera, Marnie Tulsa, Emma Espinoza, Mitchell Clermont, Robert Horn. Jason Senecola, Mark Doherty, Nicholas Benson, Kevin Hoyen, Kaylee Farrell, Edward McGahey, Jesse Green. 
Jeffrey King. Dale Harrell. Kirk Ruth Marie Creighton. Christina Melissa Carr. Michelle Hernandez. Kaylee Manser. Kevin Aubrey. Bradley Williams. Brandon Dreichler. Rachel Corin. Samantha Sheps. Jennifer Patty. Benjamin Tucker. William Tracy. Dylan Morton. Ian Jackson. Landon Starnes. Zachary Padfield. Christian Freimuller. Connor Jones. Ashley Lockery. Madison Cobbs. Dustin Bones. Tyler Brewster. Keith Murray. Rachel Smith. Jorgen Steinmors. Ezekiel Ruiz. Cody Jess. Johan Lozano. Nicole Rose. Jessica Rojas. Dominica Crespo. Caroline Kensinger. James Callow, Damian Olson, Ryan Beach, Chase Yule, Daniel Wally, Madison Romano, Maria El Cadi, Alexis Hayde. Garrett Thompson, yeah. Olivia Labo, Caitlin GC, Highland Kearney, Paris Kennedy, Shirley Johnson, Alicia Woolley, Drake Burgoon. Whitney Blanton, Victoria Scoville, Michael Kelly, William Gardner III, William Tang, David Papson. Grant Lohman, Leslie Aswick, Alexandra Bartone, Angelina Paulino, Alexander Stout, Herman Franco, Bree Williams, Christopher Decker, Joseph Turner Baddorf III, Austin Davenport, Matthew Meyer, Tyler Hunter, Anders Botero, Taylor Michael Nelson, Brett Reynolds, Frank Grimaldi, Brooke Trivet, 
Katherine Weinkoop. William Sharp. Natasha Grabowski. Brian Maloney. John Francois. Juan Colon Arena. Brian Genter. Caitlin Graves. Emily Bordek. Amanda Jones. Jennifer Paragus. Mark Crackman. Johari Taylor. Christine Kuhn. William Thornton. Courtney Comer. Alyssa Woolley. Amanda Woolley. Kurt Norris. Chelsea Elosegi. Lindsay Jacobs. Courtney Nemeth. O'Hara Trees. Ashley Olson. Hannon Owada. Nicholas Romano. Kyle Hetherington. Philippine Tasher. Amber Richards. Karen Gray. Meha Patel. Roland Below. Emily Hawkins. Olivia Kirsten. Alex Bernhard. Luke Shackleford. Harrison Bates. Toria Leslie. Michelle Birch. Stephen Palazzolo. Dylan Goldie. Naquan Young. John Duffy. Brian Corcoran. Eric Rogers. Travis Schneider. Devin Steele. Dylan Foster. Jeremy DeComenada. Dante Casula. Caroline Waterman. Hunter Pearson. Brittany Blanco. Joshua Levin. And Unai Uche. Valeria Silva. Danielle Herbert. Rosalia Tejada. Alexander Harvey. Lucas Vaz. Joao Oliveira. Nathan Hellenbrand. Matthew Chen. Samantha Rahel. Allison Scrivener. Davina Mohabir. Michelle Vega. Ashton Robinson.
Caitlin Miner. Gabriella Stubbs. Kristen Esposito. Brianne Joris. Robbie Inzer. Cameron Horn. Alec Terpko. Maria Matu. Tyler Ian Nakome. Michael Rice. Kunal Patel. Taylor Pelusi. Jonathan Contento. Braden Vaughn. Zachary McBride. Justin Bartlett. Christopher Reeves. Tyler Marone. Mark Baylor. Jordan Perry. Nicholas Holst. Elizabeth Jimenez. Karen Cortez. Kelsey Brueger. Marissa White. Eileen Destan. Rihanna Sefa. Stephanie Gutierrez. Kaylee Yoder. Brandon Coleman. Taylor Antonetti. Jenna Pazinski. Karen Mull. Amanda Bodden. Christine Avellino. Kyle Bianakowski. Katrina Sands. Nurika Johnson. Karen Dubuque. Sarah Morris. Miguel Castro. Daniel Rivera. Andrew Cabrera. Will the new FGCU bachelor's graduates please rise. President Bradshaw, platform party, faculty, family, and guests, please join me in congratulating our newest graduates. Please be seated. 
Among our graduates receiving bachelor's degrees this morning are some of FGCU's finest students. These students who have achieved the highest academic honors are designated by the wearing of green and blue honor cords. Please stand and remain standing as I call your honors designation. Undergraduate students who have maintained a cumulative grade point average of 3.9 or higher have received the highest honors designation of summa cum laude. Please stand. Undergraduate students who have maintained a cumulative grade point average of 3.71 to 3.89 have received the honors designation of magna cum laude. Please rise. Undergraduate students who have maintained a cumulative GPA of 3.5 to 3.7 have received the honors designation of cum laude. Please rise. <laughs> honors graduates, we commend you on your superlative academic achievement. Additionally, the red, white, and blue honor cords that you may observe some of our graduates wearing this morning signify those among us who have performed great service to our country as members of our proud United States military. And we wish to thank them also as they graduate. I congratulate you on your accomplishments and wish you continued success. You've worked hard and succeeded in your academic endeavors. On your behalf, let me thank our outstanding FGCU faculty and staff members who have provided you not only instruction, but also their wise guidance and enthusiastic support. Our university is truly fortunate to have such a remarkable group of faculty and staff who are respected by their students, their peers, and the greater university community. Y'all are the best. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Harry Casimir, Chair of the FGCU Alumni Association Board of Directors. Mr. Casimir graduated from FGCU in 2005 with a bachelor's in computer information systems and is the chief technology officer of Atlas, a digital agency he co-founded while attending FGCU. He is also the president of uh, boardmanagement.com, a software as a service for board, boards of director. Mr. Casimir is a United States veteran with tours in Afghanistan and Iraq. He is originally from Haiti. He lives in Fort Myers with his wife, Esther, and three little ones. Harry. Thank you, President Bradshaw. It is an honor to be here to celebrate the graduating class of 2016. Graduate, I would like to welcome you all 
as the newest alumni of Florida Gulf Coast University. Job well done. And if there's any advice as I can offer, it is this. Remember this moment, this institution that instilled in you knowledge along with great social and civic responsibility, ideals of sustainability. Just take a look around you, the friends and mentors you have gained. FGCU give you a start to the world to limitless possibility. Remember, no matter where you go from here, FGCU will always be the intersection in our lives. Today, you join an alumni family of more than 25,000 graduates worldwide. And I challenge you to stay connected to your FGCU family, no matter where your world takes you. You can do that by becoming an involved and engaged graduate. Volunteer in your colleges. Attend alumni association events, such as the alumni weekend coming in February. And share your accomplishment with the university. Give back when you can. Also, become an active lifetime member of the alumni association. Those are some of the ways that you can make sure you stay connected with your FGCU family. I'm looking forward to see you soaring like an eagle. Again, congratulations, class of 2016, and welcome to the FGCU alumni family. Go Eagles! Thank you, Harry. At this time, will the graduates please rise and give a round of applause in appreciation of those who supported you through your educational process. Your parents, your family, your friends. Also, please extend a round of appreciation for the faculty who also supported you through your educational endeavors. Now will the audience please rise and join our vocalist Christy Ferrer and the Suncoast Brass Quintet in singing the first verse of the alma mater. The printed words can be found on page 34 of your program. Christy. Graduates, in closing, I encourage you to stay connected to your university as proud alumni who represent the very best this institution has to offer. 
You, our success stories, are our best ambassadors. Your achievements, service to others, and loyalty will contribute to the greatness of Florida Gulf Coast University. You have our best wishes for success and happiness throughout the years. Please remain standing for the recessional and remain in your place until all graduates have exited the floor. Graduates, staff ushers will direct you to join the recessional. Guests, please wait until the students and faculty have left the arena floor before carefully exiting yourselves. Please meet your graduates in the lobby or in the plaza area outside. Graduates, my last four words, walk good, go Eagles.